Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with the beautiful Miss Posh Rosa here on YouTube. And I'm just going to jump straight into my video. I've already done my brows and I've already primed my lids with, um, I think it was the Lorac primer. And I'm going in with some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Just to make sure that the colors that I put on next are going to pop. I'm going to go into this very neutral tone, um crease color this is latte by makeup geek and i'm using a real techniques i think it is the crease brush don't quote me on that but it is beautiful for blending out the crease work or any type of product um i know i'm gonna go into i believe it's beaches and cream from makeup geek again and i'm just gonna highlight my brows and work that into my transition color and then I'm just going to build up on that NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to make sure those colors really pop. Using the BH Cosmetics Day and Night Palette, I'm going to go into this beautiful cotton candy kind of blue. I'm going to pat it onto the lid because I really want that color to stand out and I really want the NYX Jumbo Pencil to grab onto it. So I'm just going to focus it all over my mobile lid. I'm going to make sure that I build up the color to the intensity that I want. Next, I'm going to go into this beautiful, beautiful pink. Now, I'm not a big pink eyeshadow wearer, but I just thought this combination was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to pat that into the outer third of my eye. And I'm kind of going to give it like a winged kind of shape and drag it onto my lid as well. Kind of like a cat eye, sort of, but not quite. And I'm really going to intensify that color. Then when I'm done, I'm going to take a blending brush and blend the crease color in with that pink. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended with no harsh edges. Next, I'm going to go into this very bright lime green. And I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corners. I really thought that combination was so nice and so subtle without having to go with a white or a gold. And it all just melded together and reminded me of cotton candy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I'm going back into that pink and I'm going to take it on the inner kind of crease. And it really just makes it look a little bit different. And um, I started doing this in some of my colored looks and I just love how it turns out. Just going to blend it again and I'm going to go back over with the blue. And I think I touched up the pink as well, but I didn't show that clip. And I just absolutely love how bright it looks. Here's when things start to get a little bit weird. I decided I'm going to put on my mascara before I put on my eyeliner, which wasn't the best idea. So I ended up having to touch up my mascara after it was done. Thank God it wasn't dried. But I'm just using a black pencil to create a small wing. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and blend it out. So I kind of wanted a wing that was a little bit more diffused. And I thought that was so nice. I'm so accustomed to using my wing liner, liquid wing liner. But I just thought that this was a good change and I really like how it turned out now here's where I give myself a side eye because a few things happen here lashes went on and I cannot find all of my footage putting on my foundation but I did have this footage of me putting on my MAC, uh, I think this is the Millerized Skin Finish in Dark Deep and I just used like a very dense brush and I patted it all over my skin and I absolutely love how flawless this makes my skin look and it's very natural and light without having to use like foundation and stuff like that. Um, I just, I really love it and then I put on a blush from Milani, it's kind of a corally type of pink and I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm just going to dust that onto my cheeks and it just makes your skin look so vibrant and healthy and I really like how it complements this look because it looks natural and it's very very beautiful. Next I'm going to use the Urban Decay, I think this is D Slick and I'm going to spray that all over my face and it just melds everything into your skin and makes it look so flawless, so natural. Um, I really really love this look, this setting spray is like everything to me, everything, everything. So then I zoomed in a little bit closer and I decided to work on my lower lash line and I just used the same colors that I had used on my top lid which was the blue on the inner corner and then I took a little bit of the pink and I worked it on the outer corners um, just pretty much connecting it to what was going on on the top make sure it was blended in the middle 
and then I went in with a black liner not for a very harsh line but just to brim my waterline to give it a little bit of pop and definition and then I also put on some mascara on the bottom lashes but I didn't show that I went into this other dark brown makeup geek uh, eyeshadow and I use it for contour actually very very light but I do like how it makes my face look chiseled and it's a natural type of contour and last but certainly not least is lipstick and this is one of my absolute favorites from MAC this one is flat out fabulous and it just complements the look it goes perfectly with my eyeshadow so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later bye